Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I have a challenge for every silver stacker, collector, gold stacker, no matter which metal you prefer to buy and in which form you prefer to buy it, I have this challenge and we're gonna get into that in this video. Over the years, being on YouTube or on social media in general, I have seen numerous challenges thrown out, numerous movements thrown out, but not often do we hear about this one topic and that's what I want to talk about in this video. Over the years we have seen these types of challenges, the gold envelope challenge where we save cash in an envelope so that we can later afford to buy maybe one ounce of gold, quarter ounce of gold, one tenth ounce of gold. I have seen the one tenth ounce gold challenges many years on YouTube going back to 2016, 2017, and then there's a brand new one tenth ounce gold challenge. I've seen the quarter ounce gold challenge. I've seen recently the one ounce gold challenge where every silver stacker is challenged to save up money to be able to buy one full ounce of gold. We've seen movements, we've seen silver squeezes, we've seen silver raids. Quite often we'll also hear about how much debt the United States government has and how every U.S. taxpayer at some point is going to be on the hook to pay that debt and that is absolutely correct. Every U.S. taxpayer is going to be on the hook for our government's horrible horrible spending habits and we also hear about how the government also wants to keep on raising that debt ceiling they run out of money and they want to raise that debt ceiling so they can keep on with those horrible spending habits we also hear on youtube all the time about Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey doesn't like silver, doesn't like gold, says gold and silver is a horrible investment. Regardless on how you view Dave Ramsey's views on gold and silver, I think most of us would agree that Dave Ramsey is right about a lot of other things, especially when it comes to eliminating debt. If you can't afford to buy something, don't purchase it. Many people in the United States, maybe even watching this video right now, does a lot of spending using credit cards and pays a high interest rate. My challenge to everybody watching this video, rather you're a gold stacker, a silver stacker, you are a collector, regardless of which metal you purchase and the reason you purchase it, the form that you purchase it in, is to eliminate personal debt even though at some point everybody is going to be on the hook for our national debt, everybody who has personal debt, everybody who is paying interest right now on a credit card, that debt is something you are on the hook for as we speak. Every single day you are on the hook for that debt. At some point, we will be on the hook for the national debt. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I don't think anybody needs to be given financial advice. In my opinion, it just makes sense. Many people in the stacking community like to say that they save in silver and gold because if they save in cash, then it's much easier to spend this. And if they can save in gold and silver, it's much harder to spend that savings if you're saving it in physical precious metals, and I agree. But one thing that that proves, that statement right there proves that cash, a lot of people don't like to save in cash, but that just proves that cash is the most liquid. Rather, anybody wants to admit that in this video, in the comments section below or not. I 100% like to stack silver and I like to stack gold. I do admit I like to stack gold a lot more because I believe gold is the more stable of the two. Silver is the more volatile of the two metals. As the metals go down, silver goes down a lot faster, but also as the metals go up, silver usually goes up faster, much faster than gold. In this video, I'm not asking anybody to tell me if you have credit card debt or anything like that because that is a personal financial situation and definitely nobody's business. However, what this video is for is to try to encourage people to 
pay off, especially that credit card debt. I like to try to eliminate as much debt as possible. Anybody who has a house, that is much more difficult to pay off. If you have an auto loan, those are usually lower interest loans, but I'm all for chipping away at those loans as well. What I am more talking about is paying off credit card debt. I've spoke about this over the years numerous times on this channel, how credit card debt is just the worst in my opinion. And I think most people watching this video would agree with that. I also believe that a lot of people watching this video is debt free. But I also think a lot of people watching this video may have a lot of credit card debt and hoping that silver shoots the moon because I hear it all the time. And that is how people are going to pay off their debt is when silver shoots the moon. And I've never been a silver moon person. I've never been the one to think silver was going to the moon or that silver was going to make people somehow filthy rich. I'm not encouraging anybody to not purchase silver or gold, but along the way, maybe purchase a little bit less silver and or gold and pay off more debt. And I think that that is something that more channels could be talking about more often and that is paying off your own personal debt because that is something that every individual, again, while every individual at some point, some point is going to be on the hook for the U.S. national debt, every individual is on the hook right now for their own personal debt. Let's not do like the U.S. government and raise our own personal debt ceilings, but rather lower our debt ceilings and try as much as possible to eliminate that personal debt. In my opinion, by paying off that personal debt, it would give everybody more opportunity to save and have a true savings in silver and gold, or if you're a collector, then to collect more of the coins that you love to collect. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you agree with this video. And if you do, please hit that thumbs up button on the video. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree or if you disagree. Once again, I'm not asking for anybody to spread their financial situations in the comment section below. Just let me know if you agree or if you disagree with the video without disclosing your personal financial situations. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.